Welcome to Real World Facilitation, where we are on a mission to put an end to boring and wasteful meetings and workshops. In this short video, I'm gonna give you a very quick icebreaker or energizer that you can use rapidly in pretty much any session that you're running. I often get this out if the energy levels are dropping a little bit, and I'll just quickly run this session. So this is the matchstick challenge. Really simply, all you need to prepare for this is a slide or a diagram picture of this. And as you can see, here we are with some matchsticks or imaginary matchsticks on a PowerPoint slide, setting out a number. Really simply, the task for the team is to move just two matchsticks to make the biggest number possible. So if you've got groups of people, this is great because you can have them work together in small groups thinking about it. They only need three or four minutes. You don't need very long at all. It creates a different kind of energy in your session whilst they're thinking and talking about this. It gets them focused on something else for a moment which acts as a bit of an energizer. You can use it as an icebreaker for exactly the same reasons. Um, and the great fun is that they will come up with their numbers and then you can reveal a, here is our reveal for example, which is uh, some clever stuff of moving the matchsticks. So you can spot what we've done in this one. Uh, but people will come up with their own versions. Sometimes they might even come up with a bigger number than your version. It doesn't matter. It's a bit of fun, a bit of com competition in the room, which is no bad thing. If you want to run this online, then you certainly can do the same thing. The challenge with online, if I probably wouldn't put people into breakout groups to do this because if you've used the breakout function on Teams or Zoom, it takes a few seconds, takes 30 seconds to get people into groups. It's kind of wasting quite a lot of time. But you could do it as an individual exercise if you've got a group of, say, 10 people, no more than that. And you can ask them just to spend a few minutes thinking on their own uh, and then get them to share who's got the highest number and then whoever's got the highest number, ask them how they did it. So there you go, a really simple, straightforward icebreaker that you can use pretty much anywhere uh, and get it out at any time you like.